Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question longest mountain in array. In this question we need to find a contiguous subarray B that is a mountain if the following properties hold. Now in the first example the output is 5 because the largest mountain is formed using these 5 values wherein we can see that 1 and 4 are in increasing sequence while 7, 3, 2 are in decreasing sequence thus by creating a mountain. In the second example, as all the values are the same, it doesn't create any mountain and doesn't satisfy any of the condition mentioned. So we return 0 as there is no mountain. We are given the constraint and the follow up with it. That is how we can solve it using only one pass and how we can solve it without using any extra space. In order to understand this question, let's see what this input will look like if we plot that into a graph. So the input will look like this if it is plotted on a graph. Now in this input we can see that the points between these two lines create a mountain structure. We can see it has a peak and all the values before this particular value are in increasing fashion while all the values after this are in decreasing fashion. So if we count the number of points it gives the output as 5 as there are 5 points. So in order to solve this question, we need to know for every point how many values are there that are in increasing fashion and how many values are in decreasing fashion and then add them and return it. This question can be solved using 2 pass and 3 pass algorithm using some extra space wherein we first traverse from left to right and then right to left and find all the increasing and the decreasing sequence and then we find uh, whichever gives the highest or the maximum value. And there are many questions on lead code which can be solved using these algorithms. I will be sharing the similar questions at the end of the video. So do watch it till the end. The follow up question states that how can we solve it using one pass and without using any extra space and we will be seeing that directly in this video. What we need to do is we need to travel just once and find if there is an increasing sequence and then there is a decreasing sequence and then find the length of these two sequences and store them into a variable and find the maximum of this variable going forward. So let's see how we can code this. We'll start off with creating a result value which will be initially 0. We'll take a dot length into a variable because we will be using it more often. Now we'll start looping from i1 to i n. We'll have a count variable which will hold the count or the number of nodes which will form the mountain. A mountain will contain at least one value so it is initialized with one. Now we need to do three things here. We need to first find the increasing sequence then decreasing sequence and lastly the max of length. Once all this is done, we will simply return the result. In order to find the increasing sequence, we will have a variable j which will hold the pointer to i at the very beginning. Then we will loop till there exists an increasing sequence where i of j is greater than a i of j minus 1. If this is the case, we increment the j and also the count. Once this is done, we'll find the decreasing sequence. In order to find the decreasing sequence, we'll do the same in n. Here, a of j should be less than a of j minus 1. We increment the j and the count again. Now, we need to find the decreasing sequence only in the case when there is increasing sequence exists. And if that is only possible when i is not equals to j, that means there is some increasing sequence and then there is exist a decreasing sequence. So we do this. Lastly, we need to find the max of the length. Herein also we need to see if there exists a value and now the important part is if the count is greater than 2 because it is given that the mountain will be at least of length 3. So the count should be greater than 2. Then we simply take the max of it. This is done. We now here decrement the j. This is done because the j will point to the next pointer and we need to bring it back so that in the next iteration the value starts from the next pointer itself and not 
from one more step ahead. This will create an issue for us. Lastly, we make i equals to j. Let's run this code and see. So we're getting the right result for this. Let's test this for uh, this input. It is also giving the right result. Let's test this for a scenario where an all increasing sequence exists. We see that we are getting a wrong result because we have put in a condition wherein the max length is the count will be greater than 2 and there will be max length. We didn't take into consideration if there is, doesn't exist any decreasing sequence. So in order to get away with this, we'll have a flag. We'll take a flag, boolean flag, which will be false. Now, if there exists a decreasing sequence, then we simply make this flag true. And now, when finding this, we'll have this flag check true. When we run this code now, we're getting the right result. Now, let's test this for a decreasing sequence as well. So it is also giving right result. Let's submit this code. So it got submitted. The time complexity of this algorithm is O of n and space complexity is O of 1. Here are some of the problems which also uses 2 pass and 3 pass algorithms in order to find the result. The left and right algorithms that we briefly discussed in the very start. You can try these algorithms too and have a greater understanding of these concepts. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.